While COVID-19 no longer dominates the headlines, this is as much a symbolic end to the pandemic as it is a concrete end to many of the pandemic era programs we've grown accustomed to. This is the same public health emergency that is ending Title 42 along the southern border, but where this closure will be felt for many is in their wallet, but not right away. Under the public health emergency, COVID vaccines were free, and they still will be, regardless of insurance coverage, as long as those federally purchased supplies last. Once they run out, you might start seeing co-pays and other fees. It all depends on what type of coverage you have, so experts suggest asking about those fees before you get a vaccine shot so you're not surprised. The same goes for tests. After Thursday, there will be no guarantee that tests are free, and there may be some costs for the associated doctor's visit if the test is administered somewhere other than the home. The rules on how this all works will vary by state and depending on what kind of insurance you have, if any. Lastly, there will also be more cost for pharmaceutical COVID treatments like Paxlovid, but that's once federally purchased supplies run out. And we're going to see the nation revert to its more traditional, more complex health insurance coverage rules. Um, this means that there will be a lot of variation by the type of insurance that people have. So this is going to create a lot of uncertainty for people at the beginning. Something else that will come to an end are certain food assistance programs. Under the public health emergency, work requirements for federal food assistance were paused in more than two dozen Republican-controlled states, but those requirements will go back into effect after Thursday. Now, experts say there are health risks that come with the end of this public health emergency. The Kaiser Family Foundation has said people may delay or even go without care due to costs, and they say that that can prevent people from getting timely COVID diagnoses as well as prevent transmission. Dan Grossman, Scripps News, Denver.